do you find that some lenses are just a wee bit too heavy? Are you unhappy with the weight of the Canon RF 28 to 70, the 100 to 500 millimeter, or the 200 to 800 millimeter? Well, if so, Canon's been working on a new lens barrel design and optical system to reduce the weight using carbon fiber. But before we get to the details, please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, helps this channel grow, and keeps you up to date on the latest camera coverage. Japanese patent 2024-03-2819, filed on January the 22nd, 2024, and published on March the 12th, 2024, employs carbon fiber. That's right, carbon fiber and a thermoplastic resin in braided layers to reduce the weight while still maintaining the structural integrity. This isn't the first Canon patent application to address the portliness of their lenses. It is the first, however, to use carbon fiber or thermoplastic resins. But I do have another patent application I want to tell you about, filed within a few days of this one, and it addresses weight as well, but not using materials such as th thermoplastic resins and carbon fiber. Instead, dealing with the optical design and the placements of the lens groups. In Japanese patent 2024-032911, filed on January the 31st, 2024, just one week after 032819, and 032911 was published on the same date, March the 12th, 2024. 032911 addresses the challenge of achieving high optical performance in a lens system while simultaneously reducing its size and weight. But this particular patent focuses on the lens group that moves during focusing, whether internal or external. So the main difference between patent 2024-03-2819 and 032911 is that 032819 doesn't use carbon fiber, it's not using thermoplastic resins. It focuses on the arrangements and characteristics of the lens group, in particular the one that's moving, though it doesn't go too far into detailing how it accomplishes this. And these aren't the only two lens patent applications that are addressing the weight of lenses while maintaining a high optical performance. Over the past six months, we've seen several other patent applications. And if you've owned recent lenses such as the 200 to 800 or the 100 to 500 millimeter, perhaps you've noticed that these lenses are getting a little bit more lightweight. I own both the RF 100 to 500 and the 200 to 800. Both lenses are surprisingly light when compared to other zoom lenses. There's nothing like hand holding the RF 100 to 500 and getting stable stills and video like, like these shots filmed while on a boat in choppy water. Although that moon shot from earlier, that was definitely shot using a tripod. Go ahead. You try to shoot this shot with a 200 to 800 at two times extender and shooting 1.6 times crop. I don't think there's any way you're going to get any sort of stabilized video zoomed in like that. But getting back to the 100 to 500, the optics are excellent and Canon's ability to reduce the weight of this lens makes hand holding it a breeze. And if you're interested in picking up this lens, you can save $300 off the regular price using my link down below although it was recently on sale for $500 off. So if you're willing to wait a little bit longer, maybe towards Black Friday, you might actually be able to pick it up at a slightly better deal. Now the 28 to 70 is also $300 off, but the 200 to 800, which was just recently announced, it's not on sale. In fact, it's severely backordered. I know people that have pre-ordered this on the day that it was announced, and they're still waiting. I don't know why, obviously, this lens has received a whole lot more demand than Canon expected, but I sense there are other regions in the other reasons in the supply chain that's holding things up. But anyhow, if you are interested in purchasing any of the lenses that I mentioned, and there are a whole lot more on sale, then please consider using my affiliate links down below. They're right in the description, these guys right here. Um, I get anywhere from 2 to 12% back, which really does help support this channel. It allows me to purchase lenses like the 100 to 500 and the 200 to 800 millimeter, as well as the 50 millimeter f1.2, and all the gear that I have on this channel. I strongly believe in not just talking about news and forecasting the market, but actually buying the gear and using it day in and day out. I don't rent the gear, I don't borrow it, I own it. So if you have any questions about the 200 to 800, the 100 to 500, or any other lenses that I've used on this channel, 
drop me a question in the comment section because I'm speaking from experience. And for all those of you that have used my affiliate links in the past to purchase gear, thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. Now, as far as other patent applications for lenses and reducing the weight and improving the optics, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more come out. Canon does file an awful lot of patent applications. Sometimes you'll see as many as 30 to 50 per day. In fact, I think when it comes to patent filings worldwide, Canon is in the top 10 or maybe even in the top five. And if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the comment section down below. But please do me a favor. If you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest, then go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. And pricing information? Well, I rarely put out a video just on pricing alone unless we see some really incredible deals like the Canon EOS R5C right now. It's $1,500 off its release price. No, it's $1,300 off. The R3 is $1,500 off. And of course, the Canon EOS R5 is $900 off. Really incredible deals. And the R5, if you buy it at Adorama, they throw in a 128 gigabyte CF Express Type B and a card reader. But you can still buy it at $29.99 at Adorama or at B&H as well as uh, Amazon.com. I think it's $29.99 everywhere in the United States. In Canada, New Zealand, Australia, UK, and other parts of the world, yeah, we're not going to see the same deals as they do in the United States. And that's largely due to the strength of the US dollar, strength of the US dollar against the Japanese yen. So if your currency has lost ground against the US dollar, you're not going to see the same level of discounts. Anyhow, thank you so much for thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.